All right, so Miss Mac uh, just left to go visit a friend. Remember Stacy in your prayers as they travel. Remember Miss Mac in your prayers as she travels as well. And uh, I know she's looking forward to uh, helping her out. And it's a bunch of ladies, so it's very good for them to go. So she's gone, and so we're going to spend some time with the kids today and try to get some things done around here that need to get done. And uh, just have a wonderful day. So join us for our vlog as we go. You know, uh, me and Miss Mac are, are, I mean, we're a team. So when it comes to our farm, we're busy. And when we don't have each other to help, like uh, if it's just shell and peas, or if it's shucking corn, or if it's milking cows, or if it's, you know, whatever it is, mil uh, moving the animals. When it comes to our children, and uh, just all the chores we have to do, when we're not able to do it together, it's hard. So I've missed Miss Mac. Um, She's only going to be gone basically for a, a little two-day increment, but it is hard. Uh, same way with me. If I leave, that's a lot more work on her. So not only do we just miss being able to be together and talking and, you know, the normal being together and camaraderie that you have with your spouse, uh, we, I just miss her because there's uh, think so many things like this where I have to kind of depend on other people to make sure I get my chicks in, you know, and uh, make sure Aiden's close enough to him just in case JJ works up. While I'm milking the cow or while I'm, uh, you know, baby bottle feeding the, the baby. So, uh, the baby calf, excuse me. So, it, it is unique um, not to have her here where I can just say, hey, if I need something, call her right quick or have her go get these chicks while you watch the kids while I go. Um, it's kind of unique in that facet. So, uh, we're always glad when she comes home. We're ready for her to be home. Uh, we don't really go a lot of places separate. Uh, and our farm keeps us busy. So, it's one of those things where uh yeah it's just different it's different i don't know some of you families may have your husband or your wife have a different work schedule so sometimes they go off and they're gone for a while and you're looking at me like pansy <laughs> but we're so again we're so used to being together it's kind of weird hey look at that light it's kind of weird not being together so um you know it's a challenge so we're gonna we're gonna finish up real quick and then um we'll move on well, as you can see, it is daylight now. We actually have got the cows put back away. They're actually over here in this little temporary holding facility. We've got paddocks. We're going to put them in a cross way over there today. But before we do that, we may try to put another little baby bottle calf with them um, just to see how she does with other cows. I know she's getting lonely. She's actually building up strength. We're going to give you some updates and let you see her in just a second. Uh, here she is, actually. Right here. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Look how good she's walking around. Watch her. Watch her. Watch her. Follow me. <laughs> she knows it's feeding time. Here. You want your bottle? Here. There you go. Good job. Look at her. Look how strong she's gotten, y'all. So, as you can tell, she's smoking this bottle. It won't take her... Oh. Come on. It won't take her probably... 30 to 40 seconds to take down this two, this two quarts. She loves it. This is some good quality milk from LCC, the bull sitting right there. We're gonna let this uh, little cattle gap open right here open today. Let her get with these and let her see how she just does with some mama cows and with the bull. Because to be honest with you, since she's only she was only with her mama and the cows probably for up there at the other barn, probably, gosh, maybe a day, day and a half. And then she's been here in this little holding uh, barn, basically, for the rest of her life, which is she is five, six days old today. So she is doing excellent. I cannot complain. Here, come here. She's doing good. She's nudging like she would on her mama. <clears throat> so I think if we put her with uh, one of my milk cows, I think she'll be okay and they can nurse her. But she's done with her bottle. <clears throat> she's all happy, look. <laughs> so she... All right, baby girl. Say bye for right now. She is, I mean, you see how much more lively she is. If you remember, if you watch back her other video on our calf about how she just, man, she was so lethargic and almost 
almost gone. Look at her, she sticks her tongue out <laughs> after she eats. <laughs> Funny. Okay, all 34, or 30, excuse me, are accounted for. We have, the, these are the, the Cornish Cross again, same one we've done for the last three times. Uh, the next order will be the Freedom Rangers. We're gonna try them out. We're actually gonna try to breed the Freedom Rangers just to have a sustainable chicken on the farm that's a meat chicken. But uh, all these are doing good. They'll stay in this box just for a day or two and then we'll actually upgrade it to a bigger one. But I want them to stay warm. They got water, they got feed and just be able to huddle up like they're doing right here. So I want them to huddle up, get warm, make sure they're good and give them another day or two, make sure they didn't, none of them pass or die. And from there, we'll actually upgrade them to the bigger boxes. All right, since mommy's not here, we gotta unload the dishwasher. Sometimes the kids do it for her, but most times she does it. So we're gonna do that right quick for her. Uh, she should be home later on today. We're gonna do a little swimming and just hanging out, maybe even a little grilling. So let's unload this and then we're gonna eat breakfast. Okay, so we made it back home. Me and Aiden's got to just do some maintenance. We got to clean vehicles and clean the ranger. It's just that kind of day. It's been raining, so that's why we can't really do a lot of work. I see it. You know, we had this tower. If y'all remember this, we already had this, and then we we put a uh, we already had this this here, but we had to reinforce this and make it a little bit beefier so we could put bigger swings on it. So we put another one on there just so the kids have a big play set. And again, we built this and built this for half the money that you'd buy one at a big box store. We also put the big culvert, kind of the same thing, by the pool area. So now we got this made slide that looks so cool for way cheaper than you can buy like just this cheap slide from like Sam's. So we've been doing a lot of projects, getting a lot done. We got to get it finished and, and stained and all that good stuff. But today is cleanup too. So when mommy, mommy's almost home, she's about, uh, Miss Max about, probably about two hours from the house. So until she comes, we're gonna go ahead and get vehicles done. Then we'll work on trying to clean up uh, get the animals moved. We couldn't do that earlier because it started storming and JJ, uh, it's just not good getting soaking wet out there in mud. So we're gonna move them in just a little bit. Got the pigs moved in their new uh, their new home for a second. We just took this net up. We got one more to take up, but big helpers here. So we got them to move. We also got to move the sheep, and then we've got to move uh, the calves. So we're gonna do all that. I don't know if we'll get to the calves today. It's not really a have to, but uh, we got to get this done. Look at all this. Look at this eye, ivy that we have there. They can eat. They'll eat all that ivy. See that. And so here's gonna be their next move across the creek over here in this section because it's just nasty and high and all that grass they'll take it all down and just make it beautiful so we're gonna go here next i'm gonna go and set the net up for next time and uh that way we'll be able to cross the creek on this road walk them straight into it 
right here. So in about five days, they'll be over here next. You see where the pigs are now? Aiden's putting the charger. This is across the creek, but look at this grass they'll be in next. It's thick and lush and it's just too wet for the cows. And under these trees, we wouldn't put them in here just for the danger of it. But pigs, we will. So they'll be in this section next, all this tall grass. I mean, that's almost knee deep. So they'll take it down and it'll be beautiful. It's like little perfect weed eaters in a forest. Okay, so we just tighten them up in this one net for right now because what we're going to do is move them all the way over there. So they've not ate yet. So I know they'll follow us wherever we go. So what we're going to do is carry buckets, put them all the way over there in that fresh grass next to the cattle fence, and uh, basically give our yard some uh, break right quick. All right. They should walk with you. There you go. Look at that. Aiden the chicken man. Yeah, let's open. they got two more in here. Hey, hold Get out of here, little Easter egger or olive egger. Quit moving, say. Good job. Good job. There's the ducks, the chickens. It's okay. Get them. We'll get those last two. Let's get all there is. Come on, JJ. Come on. Okay, lunch is done. We got to swim with the kids a little bit after our uh, <laughs> after our fun play in with water and uh, the car wash so you can hear them still screaming they're playing in the pool now but uh misty is uh back home miss mac made it back home safely for the last two chores of the day we're going to try to get the cows move back over which they move every night and then uh, i think what i'm gonna do is let the calf come in with the cows and let's see the new calf and and uh hopefully she's hungry you normally would give her a bottle around two just a little half bottle for the day but she has shown great improvement. So what we're gonna do, I think we're gonna put her with these two mama cows. They've shown interest in her, uh, and I'm hoping that she'll show interest in them and that basically she can take two of them and be adopted mama as one of them. So here we are, we're gonna try that. I'm gonna give them a little feed so they can kinda, you know, maybe just let her, I mean, stand still for her maybe to nurse. And if that doesn't work, then of course I'm gonna give her a bottle tonight, but turn this charger off because I don't want to get hit by it off all right let's go let's move them come on girls come on daddy-o come on Elsa all right come on girl hey girl look at her they're both, of course, in milk, so I'm hoping she'll nurse. Look at her. Here, she's trying to find her. She's trying to find her. She's trying. Be still. Thank you, Elsa girl. Good look at her. Good job. Good job. Good job. Now that is a beautiful ending to a beautiful day and a great vlog. To take a baby who, man, just literally thought life was over. To then be lethargic, to bring back bottle feeding, and to now to see her nurse on my one of my mama cows to stay with her. So I'm hoping that Elsa will, I mean, Elsa's let her nurse a little bit. Not a lot, so hopefully she'll, she'll uh, take to her. But that's a great great end of this vlog. Guys, thank you for watching. God bless. Happy homesteading, y'all.